and as you see, it's pretty boring to make the tasks inside Timeliner. To make a task and then to work with dates and then attach elements one by one or with sets. But let's try the workflow with some automatic things. Let's um, close it and open another file from our materials. Material folder 6, then folder example, and let's open this file. Okay, it's pretty the same, but we do not want to make a lot of tasks here. In this file, we have a lot of sets, we have choose and elements with sets, a lot of for, for default sets in this example. And so, let's go to data source and we cannot make uh, tasks only in this this part we can import tasks from from file like the file of microsoft project or from primavera file but we have, we have had installed this program in our computer so to use the microsoft project and to link directly this file we should we have to install the Microsoft project to this computer. But if we don't, like in our situation, we can export from Microsoft project file to CSV format, common separated value format, and then use it. And let's do it. Let's go to add, import, and let's choose this file in this in this folder timeliner example then go to timeliner and we have three folders actual plan and paths path for our our future work let's go to plan and let's copy it like this one then copy and go to paths and then paste it okay and now let's open it and now we can synchronize the columns from the timeliner, it's timeline col columns, and here is the columns from, uh, from our external file. So we can do like this one. The name is name, display ID, ID, and synchronize ID is very important to synchronize to these this fields. ID, OK, and then plan start and plan end and, and so on. So all these fields were made in Microsoft Project and then exported, this file was exported to CSV format. And now we've done it and press OK. Then we can change the name of the source because we can have a lot of sources. And let's make it like plan okay and then to get the tasks inside the timeliner we should press right button and then rebuild task your chip and now some columns uh, have invalid date values but generally it will be okay let's go to tasks and now we've got a lot of a lot of tasks directly directly from this file a lot of them. So in real in real projects, this someone some some professional of playing can make these tasks inside another program more powerful than this one with more productive menu. And then we only should um, in first we should make a task type. Okay, we can do like this one, this one, but it's very long, I think. It would be better to make one of them, then press here, then go to the back one, hold shift and press left button, then let's go to the task type and now press right button of the mouse and then fill down. And after a few seconds we're going to have all these lines filled. Okay.
and in the next video we are going to attach elements automatically.